welcome to hello doctor talks today we are going to discuss about hyperpigmentation to discuss more on this today with us dr aparna dr aparna mbbs md clinical and cosmetic dermatologist and trichologist consultant from shalini hospitals and she is practicing at her own clinic dr aparna's skin and hair shivam road hyderabad doctor what is hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation as the name mentions hyper is increased and pigmentation is color so if there is increased pigmentation on your body it is called hyperpigmentation and this can be either localized or diffuse localized commonly we see on cheeks especially in hormonal conditions like thyroid pcos diabetes etc sometimes after any trauma so it is called as pih post inflammatory hyperpigmentation diffuse conditions can be seen in certain usage of medications especially chemotherapy agents etc so it is a condition where your body produces excess amount of melanin which is the pigment responsible for your skin color so this can be because of multiple triggers as again already mentioned it could be various reasons like external factors or internal factors so external factors include prolonged exposure to sunlight excessive usage of harsh chemicals on your face etc and internally it includes hormonal imbalances usage of certain medications or simply can also be during pregnancies doctor what are the preventive measures for hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation is a common response especially when you get hurt so it definitely heals with pigmentation but here what you have to understand is you should not take the treatment process in your own hands and one important thing if you are talking about hyperpigmentation very important factor here is usage of a sunscreen in terms of facial pigmentation sunscreen usage is very very important so this helps us to prevent any kind of pigmentation as well as during the process of treatment it helps us to achieve good results doctor what are the treatment options available for hyperpigmentation so treatment options for hyperpigmentation includes depending on the cause as well as the recent onset or a late onset so causes which can be hormonal uh, has to be rectified only once the hormonal conditions are treated and if it's a recent onset hyperpigmentation then it is definitely easy for us to treat and conditions which have prolonged duration they take a bit of time for us to show any kind of response in the patient coming to the options available we have starting from topicals which includes creams containing compounds like kojic acid arbutin niacinamide vitamin c tranexamic acid etc and also in clinic treatments like chemical peels which can be a superficial peel or a medium depth peel and then laser treatments where pre- predominantly target the melanin producing cells which are responsible for the pigmentation doctor is there any side effects during the treatment most of the treatments have no side effects but however it is very important for you to use the products prescribed by your dermatologist post procedure many people ignore the treatment process creams because they think once the treatment is done the pigmentation will reduce no it is very important you follow a pop, proper post procedure care which includes sunscreens and proper moisturizing creams if everything is followed right definitely there is no side effect for any of these treatments doctor whom we need to consult for skin related issues if you have any skin related issues it is very advisable to choose wisely a treating consultant dermatologist who has an expertise in treating your skin and hair concerns doctor did home remedies help for hyperpigmentation home remedies are like a placebo treatment initially you might notice some kind of improvement in the appearance of pigmentation but yes they are of no use in treating your hyperpigmentation they in fact worsen your skin barrier and it increases the chances of pigmentation so it is always advisable not to choose any kind of home remedies for any skin or hair concerns doctor this early intervention gives good results yes early intervention of any kind of skin issues especially hyperpigmentation will give us good result because the pigment depth will be very superficial so this superficial pigmentation is easily responsive to the topical creams or sometimes chemical peels as you prolong as you delay the treatment process the pigment deposition goes deeper into your skin and it becomes very stubborn for us to access it with chemical peels or creams so here comes the role of lasers even lasers in such conditions may not completely eliminate your pigmentation so in fact it is very important for you to maintain a proper home care also which includes a sunscreen and a skin lightening cream doctor is it safe for choosing self medication for skin care self medication is definitely not at all correct in treating any skin concerns because they damage your skin more than doing good 
so most of the people we see use self medications and they come back to the dermatology opd saying that you know the medication did not work and one factor which i want to stress is self medication is commonly including steroids so topical steroids might show immediate lightening of your skin condition but they are a big damage to your skin so it's definitely not advisable for you to do any kind of self medication on your skin concerns so viewers do you have any queries on this topic kindly mention in the comment box